Hello everyone. In this video, we have this interesting problem. We have square root of 5 times x is equal to the cube root of x. And we have to find the value of x. But before we begin, you know the deal already. Pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. Now looking at the left hand side of this equation, you can see we have square root here. And on the right hand side, we have cube root. In order to solve for x in this equation, the first thing you need to do is to remove one of these roots. Okay, so I'm going to remove this square root by raising each side of this equation to the second power. Okay, so that these two will cancel the square root. Now we have this side to be 5x, and this is equal to. Now, if I have the eighth root of b, and this is to the power c. This is the same as b to the power c or to the power 1 over a. Okay, and this is also the same as b to the power c times 1 over a. And if you simplify this, we have b to the power c over a. Okay, so from here, I can write this as x to the power 2 or to the power 1 over 3. Okay. And from here, I can multiply this 2 by what we have here, okay? So we have 5 times x is equal to x to the power 2 over 3, okay? Now, to make this equation very simple, let's raise each side of this equation to the third power. So that this side will be 125 times x to the third power, and this is equal to... Now, if I multiply this 2 over 3 by this 3, we have x to the second power here. Now, let's go ahead and then move this one to this side and then equate to 0. So, we have 125 times x to the third power minus x to the second power and this is equal to 0. And if you look at this equation very well, we can factor x to the second power, okay? So, we have x to the second power into 125 x minus 1 and this is equal to 0. Now from here we can say that x to the second power is equal to 0 or 125 x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now considering this equation we can say that x is equal to 0. Now from here we have 125 x is equal to 1. Now, since we are looking for x, let's divide each side of this equation by 125. So that this 125 will cancel this. Now we have x is equal to 1 over 125. So in all, we can say that x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 over 125. Now let's go ahead and then put these values into the original equation to see whether they satisfy it. Okay. If I put 0 here, that is very clear, right? We have 5 times 0, which is still 0. Square root of 0 is 0. Then here we have 0, and the cube root of 0 is still 0. So you can see that 0 satisfies this equation. Now let's go ahead and then plug this one for C. So we have square root of 5 times 1 over 125, and this is equal to the cube root of 1 over 125 okay now 5 goes into 5 one time and then goes into 125 25 times okay so we have square root of 1 over 25 here and this is equal to now i can write this as 1 over 5 to the third power or to the power 1 over 3 now from here we have square root of 1 over square root of 25 and this is equal to 1 to the power 1 over 3 over 5 to the third power times 1 over 3. And everybody knows that square root of 1 is plus or minus 1, but you are not going to consider the minus sign, okay? So we have 1 over here divided by square root of 25 is also plus or minus 5, and we are not going to consider the negative sign, so we have here to be 5. And this is equal to 1 over, now this 3 will cancel this, so we have here to be 5. Now you can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So we can conclude that x equals 0 or x equals 1 over 
125 satisfy the equation. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video.